Oh my gosh. Am I gonna have to record everything again? <gasps> okay, let's go back and watch. Why are we so overexposed, my friends? Hello everyone and welcome back to the wonderful world of Megan. Uh, on YouTube it's quite a small world because I, uh, I think I have two videos up. Uh, so, here's a third. I uh, just recorded a great intro but I had lipstick on my teeth the entire time. <sighs> I'm a professional. Okay, so here we are. I have a meaning to... Nah. I just finished university, and to celebrate and to prove it, here we have a beautiful diploma, and um, my actual thing, I don't have it yet, but I earned it, so, <laughs> pat on the back to me, I guess, I just, I also got back from, see, now I already filmed this, so it doesn't feel legitimate, okay, what I wanted to say was I had recorded a couple videos, <laughs> attempted to record at school my last semester, but my roommates are always home and I have a hard time talking loud enough when people, I think people are listening to me. It impedes my creative process, so I am here now in the comfort of my room. In Canada, by the way, I'm in Canada, in case you are curious. Um, and here we go. I just got back from a graduation trip slash a girls trip slash everything to London and Paris and it finally has somewhat healed the void in my heart which is missing England and missing London since study abroad and which was four years ago and four years ago is when I really started getting into YouTube because the big guys were all British YouTubers and I was getting really excited to be in England, so I kept watching all the primer calls. That's when I started getting watching Zoella. And she was kind of like, it was before she skyrocketed. She had a pretty good following, but it was like, from there, she just went up. Uh, so Zoella, Tanya Burr, watched her, Estee. She was Estee Button then. Um, still is, I guess. So, in honor of that, and just because I went there, I'm doing a super drug haul. And Superdrug is pretty awesome, I must say. I went to the one that was at Oxford, Oxford Street. I wouldn't recommend it per se because everything is way more expensive at that one. It's the tourist hub. But I still found some good things and I'm glad I went when I did, thanks to my sister. And I also went, I popped into one earlier um, on the Strand. But to begin, let's talk about our dear friend Tanya Burt. I was so happy to finally try a few of her things because I've been seeing them for so long. Let's let's zoom in. Test your limits. Kit lens camera. Oh, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. I believe in children our future. It's on not on manual focus. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna do some close-ups. Anyway, this is the lip gloss. It is called I Found Nemo, which is cute. And I'm guessing it's because it's corally, like the coral reef. Now, every time I watch a YouTube video and they show a lip product, I immediately wanna see what it looks like on the lips. This is the point of the first take of this video where I found the lipstick in my teeth. He Obviously, I'm wearing a lip color already, but I'm all about the layering. Okay, I dig it. See, it's a little gloopy, but that might just be the nature of lip gloss. Um, it does smell good. I will give it that. It smells like candy, like a carnival, you know, festive, festive time. I like the gold. One thing I always kind of was a little meh about is the font that her name is in. I really like the little cute little typewriter S Cosmetics that's like her secondary font. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put in, I'm just gonna try to test my skills and put a little product close up at this point. But 
I'm just not fully digging the font that her name is, especially when you're trying to build an empire. But pretty good product. Pretty good. What was... Mm, well, is the nail the nail varnish, to be correct. Uh, this one is in Little Duck, which I think is the cutest name in the world, especially when she says it. Little Duck. Um, that was a bad attempt. Don't judge my ability to do an English accent in this moment. Uh, I love the color. I love the packaging. I put this on my nails when I was... Oh, and there's a little heart detail on the top. I put this on my nails in England, and it just, it chipped, it, maybe I just wasn't feeling this type of color at the time, maybe when it gets more summertime. Uh, I was eh about it, but I'm glad that I tried it, and maybe I'll try it again. In terms of other nail polish, I picked up a Berry M, which, my camera's gonna die! Right, people we are way past expecting perfection here so I'm gonna keep going because what is what's the phrase perfect is the enemy of the good or something like that anyway I was talking about Barry M nail polish and I picked up one that is quick dry apparently I more picked it for the color and the price than the fact that it was quick dry but I did a little quick test of the quick dry. I only did one coat on my shabby nails and I really like it. It's this really pretty little lilac color. What is this position here? <laughs> um, and it's called personal best. Is it their personal best? Oh, we're supposed to shake well and apply a base coat before use. I didn't do that, uh, but it turned out really nice. What I love the most is the brush. Oh my gosh, it's probably one of the best brushes I've ever used. It's really, it's angled and wide at the bottom, so I'm kind of bad at painting my nails, but maybe it's just because I've been using bad brushes. So I really like this, and uh, I ended up picking up a lot of nail polish in the UK, which I'm not mad about. Back to the YouTuber business. I uh, picked up two, actually, of the Zoella bath fizzers. We used one of them. It was just the original one. Uh, we used it at the flat we were sitting at because we had a really sweet bathtub. Uh, so this is the Le Fils. Le Fils. Uh, it's supposed to be macaron scented. I feel like it smells like bath salts. Uh, I guess I could get a little hint of baking in there. Uh, I used, I've used a little bit of these bef already. Um, one thing, it's kind of hard to get them out. It's a really solid brick. And I wanted to save the packaging because it's cute. Oh, all this dust just came out the bottom. Uh, the packaging's cute, so I didn't want to fully rip into it because the individual blocks... Oh my gosh, it's shedding everywhere. Uh, it's wrapped in plastic on the inside. Uh, they're kind of hard to, to break off. My skin is super sensitive, so uh, I kind of feel my skin like reacting when I'm in the tub with it. Perks of having the most sensitive skin in the world. Uh, actually, probably not the world, but <laughs> it's pretty sensitive. Let's talk about the most exciting blush palette I've ever seen in my life. It is by Revolution Makeup, and it is a set of eight beautiful, beautiful blushes. Look like little fairy tale uh, fairy planets, the way that they are presented. That's why I picked it up. They're all marbly together mixtures. Uh, the formula itself is pretty nice. And there's a nice selection of tones, I'd say, like lighter pinks, darker pinks. Oh, this guy right here is a super fun, like, violet. See, the swatch on my fingers is pretty good, but when I put it on my skin, it's diluted, which is good. Um, you know, if you're putting pink on your face, you kind of want it to look natural. Uh, usually when I have blush palettes, I really like to mix them as I use them, so, uh, I mix, like, three or four and just go to town on it. Uh, I really like, this is probably, I can't remember, I think I had the receipt, it doesn't matter, uh, definitely under 10 pounds, for sure, and, uh, discontinue if rash, redness, or itching occurs, luckily. That didn't happen to me with this product. Uh, also, their name, Revolution Makeup Revolution London. 
is it redundant or is that just the journey they wanted to take you tell me I also picked up two more blushes from sleek last time I was there I picked up one of the blushes from my friend who wanted it and for some reason I didn't pick up anything from sleek for myself so I made sure that I found some good stuff uh, this one is called flushed I was going for another one I think it's called pomegranate uh, it's kind of a darker pretty color but this swatch really just you know it's a, it brought it home for me I uh, it is it's just flushed it's just your skin but flushed <laughs> what more can I say I really like the packaging of theirs because it comes with an amazing mirror Let's see if I can find myself in it uh, yes I picked up flushed and then I picked up Rose Gold, which I would almost say this is a dupe for um, for NARS Orgasm in terms of look. I'm sure the formula is not, maybe it's not as good because it's cheaper, but it has that, that gold coral mixture going on that Orgasm does, which I have not owned that for a while. I had it exclusively for a few years, um, but we'll try using this. Also, recommendations for blush brushes because I have the Real Techniques. I got the, I think it's called like the base set. It comes with three brushes. Uh, like the, the, I'm going to say they're all face brushes. One, uh, that's so, it's so boring to talk about brushes, but I'm just saying the blush one that's in that is kind of a dome shape. I can't blend it out as well, so let me know whoever watches this if you have a good blush brush. Hook a girl up. So I picked up this. I actually didn't know that much about the brand, Lottie London, but they had really cute stuff. And as you can tell, I go for the cute logos. Uh, this is an Insta Filter Pore Eraser Stick. And it's what? Stick Pores Invisible. That doesn't make any sense. But it's just like a little tube, and I put it on my cheeks and my nose and my forehead where I have scars. So I kind of use it to cover scars if you I feel like it does a decent amount it does a decent job and honestly I feel like with makeup routines it's just fun to add more steps <laughs> as uh, crazy as that sounds uh, because you're like this is gonna this is gonna solve all my problems so of course I'm gonna buy it uh, but I do like adding more primers onto my face uh, because I need to get better at that uh, and I feel like this is gonna last a long time Let's see just how long. Still going. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of product. This is a decent price too. I feel like this is probably seven, seven pounds. Which I know you translated into American Canadian. It's more, but whatever. It was pretty good. Everyone talks about the collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. I tried it and I obviously got in the lightest color because, yeah, I need that. Um... I like the thickness of it. It does really go to town. Um, I'm using it on my face, so you be the guess if it works or not. Uh, I feel like it's more for, if I'm being British, it's more for spots because it's so thick. I really like, uh, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the Glossier Little Pot Concealer. They only have one right now, I'm pretty sure, so just need to find out. Uh, for under my eye because I don't really like putting the thick stuff on it. I feel like it just... It doesn't help me out. Uh, but I'm still testing this. I've only used it a couple of times and I really liked blending it in with the Beauty Blender. And my journey with the Beauty Blender, I don't want to go into that. Anyway, I blended it. The thing that UK has down, spray deodorants. Uh, we're just starting to get them in North America, but uh, not to the extent, because if you go to a drugstore there, it's all spray cons spray concealers. It's all spray deodorants with a little shelf of stick ones, which if you go here, it's all stick and maybe a couple sprays. But anyway, I picked up the Sure Motion, Motion Sense uh, because it was a smaller bottle and I had to fly back home. Uh, that's what this says. It's a compressed bottle that lasts as long with less packaging. Uh, this is supposed to be good for black and white. I picked up this one in the travel section. It's Pearl and Beauty, and it says smooth and beautiful underarms, which they don't really need to be beautiful, do they? Uh, I'm still testing these. Um, I just like the, <laughs> I almost, 
I feel like I'm armoring myself when I put this on. It's like, spray it all away. Get rid of everything. It's almost like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of savage in that way. Which I like because I feel like I'm defending myself against the sweat. Uh, okay, that one makes sense. So this one is antiperspirant. Okay, they both are. Never mind. I'm like, maybe that's why I'm still sweating. Uh, anyway, so maybe I'll, if I like these, I will go and see what they have in North America. I say North America because I'm in the States and Canada and I'm just a global citizen. Okay, boring thing. I thought you could only get the Compede brand in the UK, but I was wrong. My sister said that they sell it here. I just didn't know that. But they have the best blister band-aids. And it's kind of a bummer because they their set, it was probably, this was almost six pounds. And again, that was the Oxford Street one, which everything was overpriced. Uh, there's only five band-aids that come in here. I already used them because my feet got totally wrecked on the trip. Uh, not to mention my knees, which <laughs> if I should tell the story right here, I'm going to, we were getting off of the tube. And uh, why is this blinking? The, we're getting off the tube, the first stop coming from the airport. I put up my suitcase in front of me. I tripped and I landed straight on my knees on the on the pavement and it hurt. And I had really, really bruised, ugly knees that hurt for a while. Okay, last two things from Garnier. Moisture mask. Obviously, I have not used it yet. Um, but this is a moisture balm. Tissue mask. I feel like the more things they pack onto the label, the more I'm going to buy it. Super hydrating soothing mask. Instantly hydrates. Comforts and soothes. Skin feels softer. Chamomile extract, hyaluronic acid, supposed to be good for you. Hydrating active, dry and sensitive skin, check. One mask equals one week of hydrating active. Dermatologically tested, suitable for sensitive skin, 15 minutes. See, there's just so much on there. And on the back, obviously I'm not going to read that to you, but I will try this and uh, I bet it's good. I would recommend it. Last thing is just a fun little product. And maybe they do have this in the, U not the US, Canada now where I am. Uh, it's their, it's again their Moisture Balm line by Garnier, and this, I was, I was intrigued. This was in the checkout line. I already had a full basket, but they had to add something else. It's a multi-protecting hydrating mist, anti-UV, anti-pollution, SPF 30 spray. Mm -hmm. So you put this on after you do your makeup, and, uh, it protects thine face. It's an extra dose of, uh, SPF, and it's supposed to hydrate. So gimmicks I will buy you so don't hold back I will if it's a moisture bomb I will buy it okay I think that's everything from Superdrug hopefully I'm thinking I'm gonna do a video about stuff I got at Primark which is a glorious land of hope and joy if you go at the right time of day and I mean there's a couple other things I bought in London, like Kath Kidston and my postcards, books, random stuff like that. Candy, it's already been eaten. Uh, I do have this I'm giving to somebody so I can just show you. Chocolate orange minis. Chocolate orange minis. It's amazing. We had a bag there. I bought this back for a friend. I'm being so good not eating it. But they're mini but mightily orangey. Yes, they are. I already ate my bags of Crunchy Rocks, which is a crunchy candy bar, but they're in little, like, chocolate mounds in the bag. It's the same packaging. Oh my gosh. They're so good. And I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna have any more for a while. So, um, if anyone, you know, sees them around or wants to give me some, I would appreciate it. I'm pretty sure, let's see, that's it. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, if you end up going to London in the future, these products will still be on shelves. Otherwise, uh, feel free to buy other things that you like that are nearby you. Uh, and, yeah. I don't know how to end this video, cause I just started talking about stuff. So maybe I'll end this video just holding up on top of my stuff.